Hey, what's going on YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here. I'm back again with another video and continuing on with our horror game series, uh, games to play during Halloween. Today's game comes to us as a funky little beat em up on the Sega Dreamcast. So without further ado, let's talk about it. Okay, so for those of you who might have guessed, today's game in question, of course, is Zombie Revenge on the Sega Dreamcast. Now, this was released in 1999 in the arcades, and the Sega Dreamcast version followed soon after. This is your standard beat em up flare. It actually takes place in the House of the Dead universe, and so there's a lot of references to House of the Dead 1 and 2. In here, you play as three AMS agents, those being Stick, who's kind of your all-around brawler. You've got Rakia, I believe his name is, who's just an absolute tank, and adding a healthy dose of sexism in there, we've got our light and fast but very weak character Lita who is the uh, blonde female in this so got a variety of different ways to take out enemies uh, for the most part they fight hand to hand but you'll get a bunch of power-ups in the game mostly of the temporary type you've got a bunch of melee weapons from uh, chains and baseball bats and things like that and then you've got a slew of firearms whether they be handguns assault rifles shotguns this and that uh, the cool thing about those though you can find enemy or ammo dropped by enemies to refill the ammo in your gun so you don't have to get rid of them right away hand-to-hand -hand combat works good the, the control scheme in general works pretty good considering that you don't have dual analog sticks but for the most part the camera angle is fixed so that's not something you got to worry about anyway and i gotta say for a fixed camera angle game from the era uh the camera most of the time behaves itself and gives you the best view of the action Graphics, the graphics in my opinion are pretty well for the era, uh, polygons are smooth, colors are pretty good, and the frame rate and load times for the most part are very manageable. Two, the story takes place in an unmanned city that has been overrun by zombies, though it is well worth noting that it is the same city that appears in the original House of the Dead. In fact, one of the levels in the game takes place in the mansion where the game took place, the level itself is called the House of the Dead, and so that's pretty cool the government is working on some new biological weapon where they can use the dead to turn them into soldiers and so they can drop those on enemy combatants and you know sow confusion and of course they can have the enemy take themselves out without having to use soldiers uh the main antagonist i can't remember his name he's a terrorist who holds a grudge because his family was murdered during the experiments from the G the the uds project or undead soldiers and so he's out to get his revenge he's got a huge hate for humanity at this point and would like to see nothing more than the entire world turned into zombies it's got a bit of a twist towards the end of the game that most players will see coming from a mile away uh but like i said it's all good it's standard capcom ish uh kind of fair even though this is more of a sega it kind of reminds me of like some old school like capcom uh games especially when it comes to the voice acting sega's known for that too though you got the cheesiest of the cheesy voice acting going on and cheesy to the point where i think it's endearing it isn't it doesn't really bother me i actually consider it a plus considering you're you're playing you know an arcade style game all in all this is a great game that still holds up in its day it was panned by most critics although shout out to egm for giving it an 8 out of 10 most people thought it was too shallow and too generic and the controls weren't good and you would play it once and never touch it again honestly me it's probably one of the dreamcast games that i keep coming back to the most it's just another fun and mindless game two player co-op in there on the dreamcast version they added like a battle mode that's not really um a big deal it's you know you can pick from a limited pool of characters and kind of battle head to head you can tell the game wasn't made for that though it's a beat em up slash like third person beat em up shooter arcade game and you know at its heart and so the as a fighting game as a competitive fighting game the, com the mechanics don't work very well but it's there if you want to play around with it for five or ten minutes but like i said this is one of the cheaper dreamcast games that you can find out there in the wild and this one is one of the more common 
common ones too so um if you can see this uh this game usually goes for about 35 dollars nowadays and i definitely think it's worth that especially when we're considering the high price of the dreamcast library so if you see it this one's recommended definitely pick it up all right, guys, I do believe that's all I got for you, but let's talk about it in the comment section below. Questions, comments, concerns, threats. What do you guys think about Zombie Revenge? Have you guys played this before? Uh, if you guys like this content, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, you'll be glad you did. Do believe that's all I got for you. Lightsaber Samurai out. Peace.